Good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Make it a blessed day in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just wanted to get up on here and just wanted to be an encouragement. You know, um, we have to do things in decent and in order. And that's in every aspect of your lives every aspect you want to do things in decent and in order what has happened is the church has somehow um how could i say this i'm trying to look for the words to say pretty much I've strayed away from the oracles of god Definitely have strayed away from the oracles of God, doing things the godly way, doing things in decent and in order. And I'm seeing it more so. And that's because most people have adapted the ways of the world. We got to come back to the oracles of God, period, in the story. I don't care what the world is doing. God doesn't care what the world is doing. God doesn't care what the world is saying. God is caring what we say, what we do. All through that Bible, he tells us, this is the way you should act. This is what you should say. This is what you should do. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But what has happened is most people are not rooted and grounded. When you are not rooted and grounded in the word of God, then you tend to stray to the left or to the right. That's what he says in his word. Do not look to the left or to the right, but stay focused, stay focused, stay ahead. You see, and what is happening is what you're giving your attention to. What are you, who are you giving your attention to? Uh, you know, and I'm just going to keep it, y'all know, I keep it very transparent. I don't play games. It's not that I don't, you know, like to have fun or whatever the case may be. No. I don't play games, meaning that when you step to me, everything better be in order. I don't care if it's family, friends, associates, whoever. Come to me with respect. Come to me with it in order. Because if not, we're going to have a problem. And, and, and I'm going somewhere. Something happened. Okay, so I was sitting in, in, in a meeting. And it was prophets. Um, people are very well statue. I'm not kidding. And this bishop, long story short, um... I'm the type of person to where he got out of order. So I removed myself from the meeting because the fact I know Deanna. I'm about to tell you about yourself. <laughs> I don't play. Not that I think I'm all that. I've always been that way since a little girl, truth be told. I'm going to keep it legit. I'm going to tell you. And it seems as though here's what's happening. Because that thing went way left. I mean, it went left, okay? Because after I removed myself, someone else told him he was out of order. Mm. And then he got offended. So when I heard what was going on, I came back to it. And I said, this is what happened, sir. Blah, blah, blah. And I was trying to be so nice. I was trying, I was really nice. And he just was really irate. And I, and I went back to that thing. I said, God, why did he get so irate? Because, and I'm, I'm going to tell you something, because this not only applies to the church, I see this in people and in life. It's called manipulation, which is witchcraft. What am I saying? Y'all stop manipulate, trying to manipulate everybody. I see it in marriages. I see it between mothers, daughters, sons, whomever. Y'all try to control everybody. And if a person don't flow the way you want them to flow, y'all cut them off. Mm -hmm. I'm talking this morning. I'm preaching. Y'all cut them off, whether it's financial, whether it's this. I've seen pastors do it. I've seen preachers do it. I've seen bishops do it. I've seen everybody try to control somebody, even in a church setting. It, don't go to that church. Don't do this. Don't. Y'all better stop playing with God. Allow allow God to get in a person's spirit, and let them be speak freely and move freely in God, for God and with God. That's why a lot of people don't like prophets. Oh, come on, here we go. I can't be controlled. And hold on. It's not that I don't have restraint because we're supposed to have restraint. People of God that say that they're leaders or any type of title or that have called, God expects you to have it the most. Self-control. And I had to learn that. If you have been following me all the years, I was out of order. I ain't gonna lie. I was out of order. Y'all know it. I didn't know it because I'm thinking, okay, I love God. But it's a way that God wants you to operate. It's a way that God wants you to be. And, and, I, and I, keep, I keep hearing this scripture. And he says it all the time. With loving kindness have I drawn thee. Y'all be trying to beat people up in the spirit. With the word. With this. That's manipulation. Which is witchcraft. Which is sin. Which is rebellion. 
get mad if you want to. And what I saw with this Bishop Pride, who are you to tell me anything? He didn't say it, but that's pretty much what you're saying. I mean, he's high over some stuff. If I say his name, y'all all... Dude, I wouldn't care if you was E.F. Hutton. Now, I know y'all young people don't know what E.F. Hutton. E.F. Hutton used to have this commercial where E.F. Hutton speaks, everybody listen. I don't care who you are. You're out of order. You're out of order. And that's what's happening. I'm telling y'all, y'all better stop that. Stop trying to control people with money, with honey, and with funny. Let me break that down when I say that, with money. If, if you can help somebody and yet they make you mad, I, I, I'm not going to help them. Did God tell you to do that? That's control. That's manipulation. That's witchcraft. Um, if you can help somebody in their career, well, I'm not going to help them because I don't like them or this or that. That's witchcraft. That's manipulation. <laughs> yeah, y'all get the drift. You keep on playing them games. You know what's going to happen? God going to take you out of that position. <laughs> well, we've seen it our whole lives. Up, down, up down why you think people you see you have to learn how to be consistent because god will snatch you up out that thing that you think that you have power over there it is god give y'all a little bit of power <laughs> y'all go crazy i'm just gonna be real with you you start trying to hurt people or do this and it's not even in god what am i saying a lot of people say well everything is not spiritual i beg to differ let me go ahead and break it down for you we're in this world but we're not of this world there's only two gods. Which God are you serving? Whose side are you on? I guess that's what I'm saying. Because everybody keeps saying, well, everything's not spiritual. Are we not made in the spirit? Okay, let's go here. He says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. So if this is true, then the only way we can truly worship God is by the spirit. So then if the spirit is real, then how? Let me break this thing down. The spirit is more real than the natural. I, I know this is all natural, but the spirit is more real than the natural. That's why the enemy don't want people in the spirit. Because when you're in the spirit, you, you get to walk right, talk right, move right. When you're in the flesh, that's a mess. Somebody write that in the comments. When you're in the flesh, that's a mess. My God, my God, my God. Who well, I just want to jump on, on here. I'm going to get back on here later. Um, let's just do things in decent and in order. Th that's it. That's it. It doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. Do things in decent and in order. Because I'm going to keep it 100 every time. I promise y'all. All right. I got to go. My little niece getting back in this car. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. We're getting ready to start another fast. But now, hold on. We're about to take it up a notch. We're going to go on a 7-day and a 14-day full liquid fast. That's right. We're about to take it up. So, y'all that like to eat, no, you probably not going to want to go on this fast. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, it's getting hot out here. It ain't no getting. It's been hot out here. It's hot out here. What am I saying? The devil's doing all kind of stuff. It's okay. You can slam it. The, the, the devil's doing all kind of stuff to people, trying to hurt us. As a matter of fact, the, the scripture says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy that's exactly what's happening. And and the sad part is we're not being spiritually motivated. We're not being spiritually strengthened. And the reason why we're not being spiritually strengthened is because nobody is spending time with God. And when you don't spend time with God, whatever you spend time with, that's where you get your strength from. So if y'all spending more time in the world, you know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to seep your strength. And that's why some of you don't have no strength. You have to spend time with God. So... God bless you. God keep you. I pray that you continue to be strengthened by God. I, I decree and declare that you are a winner. I decree and declare that you are healed. I decree and declare that you are saved. I decree and declare that you are strong in the Lord in every area of your life. I speak life to every last one of you and I sever and curse everything that is not of God that's in your life that any 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 hexes and spells that people are incantations that people are speaking over and in your life because those witches and warlocks they do what they do in the name of Jesus but God I'm gonna say but God God say I have 7,000 in heaven bow down this is the time to choose whose side that you're on that said the Lord 
So God bless you. God keep you. Roll out.